What's poppin' everyone? It's the Big Bat with another video. We're doing the Etienne's Drones mod once again, and today we're using the Bomb Shooter. Um, we're not gonna do one specific path, we're actually going to cross path it. So, 555 Bomb Shooter. We did this with the Mortar Monkey, so it'd be kinda cool to see which one is better out of the two for this. And with no upgrades, it's doing fine. That infinite range, of course, is helping a lot, as it does with all of them. So far, so good. Holding off on his own without any upgrades, but it looks like we need them now. So let's do bigger bombs, faster reload, and extra range. So there's uh, two drones now. Now they're handling it far, far better. Everything's looking really, really good. We're probably gonna have to give it some support soon for that camo detection. In fact, let's do that now. And also we need to be able to pop the black balloons. So let's do this. All right, radar scanner. We're close to Monkey Intelligence Bureau, so that's good. And the black balloons are here, which is not good. Let's do frag bombs that will destroy him. There we go. But we still want the explosions to actually be able to destroy him, so we're still going to do the Monkey Intelligence Bureau. There we go. Everything's looking good. Let's do missile launcher and heavy bomb since we got one upgrade in the other path, or two, I should say. Now we have a 222 bomb shooter. And I bet you this is going to last us for quite a while. Let's see if it can last to the Moab. I think it can, to be honest. So let's check it out. Um, by the way, this little shark missile, uh, I, I've i always <clears throat> messed with the look of it um, because that was as far as it got in Bloons Tower Defense 3, which is when I started this game. Here's the Moab, and we destroyed it easily. Nice wonder how far just the 222 version can actually go because the fact that it beats easy mode on its own is pretty cool it's pretty nice now let's see if it can handle much uh, a little further than that i don't think it could beat the bfb but let's see if it can get to it there are some dangerous moments here where they look like they're getting pretty far so that's not a good sign and with the moa okay we're definitely going to want to upgrade it there we go so really big bombs Moab Mauler, and Cluster Bombs. This should be very strong. And it looks very strong so far. Looking real good so far. I bet you we could beat the BFB with this, so let's actually let it try. And the next upgrades are going to be very, very powerful. The recursive cluster is going to be so helpful. Alright. And we beat the BFB while I wasn't even looking, and it was probably very fast. Alright. Uh, it could probably beat the ZMG too. Let's see if it could do that. Let's fast forward a bit more. It's going real fast now. And um, you guys probably noticed I took a break yesterday. It was that double that I tell you guys about. Um, I'm trying to get this up before the night ends today. So hopefully that. So hopefully it lo uploads in time. For almost all of you, it's going to be tomorrow anyway, but. We are on the, we are in the West US, so time zone is pretty much the latest, one of the latest. All right, round 80, see it. We beat the ZOMG and we defeated things that came out very easily, so that's really good. It's only 333, so it's pretty impressive. It's actually pretty impressive. Wonder if it could get to round 100, I doubt it can. But let's see, because this is still, this is not as close, this isn't even close to as strong as it's going to be. That's the crazy part about this. And it has real potential to be one of our best towers and even, even beat the cross path mortar, which is kind of what I was comparing it to in my head. All right, come on, so close. Okay, that was close. Oh, no, no, I no, okay. So it lasts till round 89. We have to upgrade it for sure. Let's do Bloon Impact, Moab Assassin, and Recursive Cluster. Let's try it. Okay, that's way more powerful, you guys. Do you see this? Do you see this? This is nuts. They're not even showing up anymore. The real question, though, is how strong is it against the bad? I'm assuming very strong since it has that bonus damage against the Moabs. But let's see. We're very, very close. Very, very close. By the way, have you guys been messing with that, uh... Oh, here's a bat real quick. Here's 
bad. Okay, we beat it. Let's see how far this goes. But have you guys been messing with that uh, Bloons Tower Defense 5 music? I'm going to put it in this video. But I mess with it. That Bloons Tower Defense 5 music is my favorite in the series. I like the Bloons Tower Defense 6 music a lot. But 5, I don't know what it is. 5 is just the best. 4 is pretty good too. But probably the least. It's probably, it probably goes 5, then 6, then 4. But 4 is good. And... The tower defense battles too. That music's pretty good too. I don't know where to rank, rank it. I have to hear it again. I don't play it as much. I, I have to hear the different tracks. And what's your guys' favorite song from Bloons Tower Defense 6? Because mine is the Sunshine Serenade, for sure. You guys could probably tell. I put that in a lot of videos. Um, but favorite overall is the Bloons Tower Defense 5 theme. So what's your guys' favorite themes? from the series. I'm actually curious about that. And if there's one that I don't I haven't put in a video, I mean, there's a lot from Bloom Star Defense 6 that I haven't put in videos, but if there's one from like 4 or 5 that you guys mess with, let me know because I want to check it out. I might put it in a future video too. All right. Um we are doing extremely well and we haven't even Oh, okay. We're about to have to upgrade right now though. I was about to say, we haven't even upgraded, but we are about to have to. These um, DDT rushes are pretty dangerous. Let's do it before we lose. Bloom Crush, Moab Eliminator, and Bomb Blitz. Okay, this is nuts. They aren't appear they they aren't getting past the first tile once again. That's actually pretty ridiculous. In fact, let's upgrade them even more with jungle drums and then homeland defense if we need it. And let's take off this auto start and start skipping some rounds because obviously it's going to beat these rounds that we're on right now. It's not even close. So let's do round 180. Let's see. Okay. Doing real well. But here are the bads, which are the main um, thing to look out for. And it's destroying them. It's destroying them pretty easily. Look at all of those bombs. That is nuts. That is actually nuts. Okay, so we beat round 180. Let's do 190. Let's do 190 and let's just go up to round two, um, 200. Just so that we get a mixture of different balloons, uh, balloon sands and everything. Because I want to see if it actually is like really um, beating these rounds or if it's just the specific round itself that we skipped to. All right, but so far it's looking really good. Once the bads are... What? We just took the L. Okay. Let's do it again, but let's do Homeland Defense. Go. In fact, I'm going to use the tech bot. I didn't even think about using the tech bot in my other videos, and I was using the Homeland Defense so terribly. I should probably... <laughs> oh, it's getting infinitely upgraded. Okay. Luckily, that doesn't do anything to our tower. In fact, I think the Etienne's drones actually cancel out the upgrades anyway. But um, it is activating Homeland Defense when we need it, which is what we put it down for. Um, it's not... It getting upgraded doesn't actually buff the towers more. But I should have done this in the other videos because I was timing things really terribly. But I guess in a way, if you do this, it doesn't let you time it to begin with. Um, it's really just... It just runs once it can. But that's better than the way I was doing it at times. Okay, it looks like we're beating this. So I'm going to take off the auto start because these rounds are starting to get long. I'm going to do round 199. Hopefully we beat that. And then I'm going to try round 200 with those fortified bats. That will be pretty impressive. So let's see. 199. Hopefully he beats it. So far so good. That DDT rush was nothing mainly the bads that are dangerous hopefully we can beat this before it gets halfway oh and we did so it looks like we'll probably beat the fortified bads but we'll see and hopefully we beat this round itself oh that's a perfect place for those balloons to stop that was perfect that was perfect timing made us destroy the bads very easily so let's see round 200 right now if it beats 200 this is our strongest tower we've used so far I don't think anything else has beat 200 yet, so this will be pretty nuts. 
I can't even tell. It looks injured. Okay, it was. It was nice. Now, this is dangerous because this bat. Let's use his ability real quick. This bat is very far. But once the bat pops, the other balloons get stunned, and it doesn't look like it's going to win. No! Okay, we actually did take the L. That was very, very, very close, though. Super, super close. If only we didn't take the L there. That would have been very impressive. But still one of the strongest towers we have used with this mod. So leave any suggestions in the comments. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video tomorrow. Bye.